It got back into the uh, low to mid 80s for the most part, even an 87 in Fond du Lac and the Dells. Great day to be at the water parks out there. The wind was light, sky was clear, that sun beating down on you. It was warm uh, if you were out and about in the sun. Kind of a haze out there as well. That's not just from the humidity, but also some smoke in the atmosphere from the wildfires all the way out into California. You're saying, how is that possible? The jet stream and the upper levels of the atmosphere taking that smoke and moving it across the middle part of the country. So part of this is the humidity. Part of that also uh, from the uh, fires, and it should set up for a very brilliant sunset tonight with the oranges and the red hues. So if you want to get a cool sunset pick, it might be tonight. 81 right now in Milwaukee. The dew point is 60, so a little bit of humidity out there. That light southerly wind not helping to make things feel a little bit cooler outside. 80s all around except for Port Washington at 76. Always the cool spot here. Uh, 82 in Beaver Dam, 84 in Whitewater, as well as Lake Geneva. We had one shower. Now, yesterday we were saying an isolated shower, and most of you would not see rain. The area that did, western Sheboygan County around 2 o'clock this afternoon, came out of Manitowoc County, and it just pushed right on through. And as quickly as it developed, it fell apart maybe a few sprinkles up towards Kewaskum. But that was it. Everything's quiet now and should be over with for the night. High pressure in full force of our weather to the north of us over the UP, giving us that sunshine, the light easterly breeze, and the comfortable temps, or I should say warm temps. How about 88 in Rhinelander? Boy, up in the cottages this weekend, no AC. It is warm. Almost 90 in La Crosse, 82 in Platteville, 83 down in Chicago. For this evening, enjoy it. Some humidity, a clear sky, 73 degrees. The sunset, 8 o'clock. The last sunset at 8 o'clock this season. Oh, we're losing about a minute or two of daylight every evening, and I'm sure you've noticed it's getting darker a little bit earlier. Dew points in the 60s around the state. We've been stuck with this quote unquote humid weather now for about two weeks, not going anywhere. I'm hoping that we get a front in here one of these days that'll just kind of knock it down into the 50s and even the 40s, but not happening anytime soon. It looks like maybe Friday of this upcoming week we'll get some relief. 67 by tomorrow morning, damp, a little bit of patchy fog in the low-lying areas that'll quickly burn off as temperatures tonight will drop into the lower 60s. And tomorrow's the last day of the fair, and it will be sunny and it will be warm. By noon, 83 degrees, a light northeast breeze that'll help cool things down into the upper 70s by 5 o'clock. There will be some humidity, and with that light breeze, it is going to feel warm walking around in the Midway or around Central Park. For the future forecast, quiet conditions tonight, quiet tomorrow, and quiet on Monday. Your yard might be looking a little crispy once again. We need some rain, and it looks like we're going to have to wait until Wednesday. Tomorrow afternoon, after that high of around 82, that easterly breeze will cool the lakefront down into the 70s. Inland areas, low to mid 80s. Around the state, once again tomorrow, it's going to be a warm one. Up north and to the west, upper 80s to lower 90s. The summer heat continues. 82 tomorrow, 85 on Monday. We'll get into some of that heat the next couple of days. 87 on Tuesday, 78, and the best chance of rain this week is on Wednesday. A lingering shower on Thursday. If you don't see rain on Wednesday, you're probably going to have to wait until Saturday.